I was told I was kicking like as if I was wearing high heels and kicking in my mother's stomach. And so when I came out as a nine pound, six ounce baby, it was a very big baby, but there was no high heels. But even as a child already, I, I loved both masculine and feminine things. I think from then already from young, I, I loved, because I love to dress up, I love to, to just try different things. So I think from that young age already, I, I, I didn't know I was a drag queen then, but yeah, now I know I'm a drag queen. I'm 37, I'm now only I know, right? Yeah. Some lights, please. <laughs> Sheila says life's a drag. So Sheila says life's a drag because sometimes, especially nowadays in our little town in our country called One Malaysia, there are little things that get us angry, irritated, sad, and it can be quite a drag. Law. And as Sheila, the drag queen, I'm here to tell you that drag can be quite fabulous. So if life is a drag, then it's quite fabulous. Like it can't be that bad, right? So the show is uh, me and members of my drag army putting on a lovely little cabaret style show and I as Sheila will be doing my brand of comedy which is um, somewhat satirical things I've not been allowed to say on my radio show on BFM I'm going to say on stage because you cannot edit and you cannot censor on stage uh, like that lah I would like to make a disclaimer this is a claim that I will diss at any given time. <laughs> so I may end up offending some people by some of the things that I'm saying. Again, I will say these things, you have no control over it. <laughs> uh, but if you're offended, I will try to apologize. Yeah. Yeah. But I will probably end up offending you even more. <laughs> so we're here to talk about life, and life sometimes is a drag, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. a drag queen, right? This is what someone I really respect said. We are all born naked, but the rest is drag. You get it? Because every day we have to put on some kind of costume to walk out the front door, to become the people we are expected to be. So really, everyone is in drag. Lah. It's just I choose to wear more makeup than you. Lah. Because of who Sheila is to me, I, she is a character, but she's also me and my voice and my opinions to what's happening around the country for us as and how it affects us as individuals. So Sheila, for me, became the platform to use comedy and satire to share with you the pains that this country has brought us and to share with you, again, like I said, life is quite fabulous and to remind ourselves that it's a little bit more than this and that. People inspire me. Uh, everything inspires me. I think it's the joy of being in theatre where we're supposed to to react, to absorb everything that happens around us. So with my comedy also, it's very reactionary to what's happening, what I read in the papers, what people are talking about, what's pissing us off, what's making us happy, what's pissing me off, what's making me happy. So these are the things that I incorporate into to what I hope is comedy. I mean, people laugh, thank God for that. Sometimes in my head, I'm like, what are you talking about? Never mind, people laughing, it's okay, just keep going, just keep going. I am Sheila. <laughs>